Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlog. In today's episode, we are going to be jumping in the Lamborghini SVJ and we're going to be heading down to BRC so that we can compete in the Kagitingan Cup in the Miata MSCC car. I'm so sorry to my neighbors, I hope the valves are closed, but this is going to be loud. because I am plant-based now, helmet and one Techno Monster bag in front. This is probably the second home for the Lamborghini SPJ, which is the gas station. each six hours three drivers should be fun should be interesting I haven't driven a car since last week and I haven't raced since after the Ferrari challenge so it's been about four years since I actually grid raced um, the nice thing though with the endurance once you leave off the line you're basically in your own world for a bit because it's very rare that you have a tight grid in an endurance race so it's not as stressful as the sprint races and um, I think Gabby is going to be our pole setter so she's going to set our qualifying time also might be our first driver for both heats so that we can get a good position um, maybe Windy in between and I'll be the last or I'll be in the middle and then Windy will be the last doesn't really matter for me as long as you know we, we finish the race we don't crash the car and we make Mazda happy so it's a win-win and hopefully fingers crossed everything goes smoothly this weekend heard you're running a Miata. Yep, we've got four Miatas, all four, NAs. Four Miatas, all yeah. NAs. All NAs. Ah, we have the ND. Oh, I like the color, like the Renault Mazda. 
There's our star driver. <laughs> Feeling good? Yeah. Ready to win? Heck yeah. <laughs> Sinadrong, Budi. Yes. Number 5 to number 22. Number 22. So who's your driver? So my driver is Aaron Guevara and Gabi Sohu. Oh, another Gabi racer. Another Gabi racing. <laughs> so the original driver, Iser, uh, is not allowed to race today. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Angie, welcome to Carporn Racing. I have a sticker for you. Big good on sa kotseng. Actually, timing how quick it is to refuel the car because we have a two minute stop that is designed for fueling, and then driver change is one minute stop. We're not allowed to spill anything. Oh, bawal nagtulo, ah, penalty yung tulo. raining and then Gabby's gone out and uh, this makes sense to really super practice because tomorrow might be dry there's actually very low chance that it's gonna rain tomorrow but in any case it's always good to practice in the wet in case it does rain tomorrow right now Gabby's only doing like a 216 which is still not so bad and then I was doing super slow this morning because it was really boring when I went out I was doing like a 233 so hopefully later today around 3 p.m. the weather should clear up and we can go out again and practice. Time for the driver's briefing. Good afternoon, welcome and thank you for joining the Tagitingan Cup. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the fuel door, driver comes in, he gets in and straps in in 30 seconds. So one hour, 30 seconds pa lang yun. Oh, one minute, 30 seconds. Oh, one minute, 30 seconds. Yes. And we're done. That's the longest briefing ever. Hey, what's up, legends? Hey. <laughs> that was officially the longest driver's briefing ever. An hour and 15 minutes. Daming tanong. minutes point one zero so basically almost breaking two minutes Gabby really helped me fix my cornering going up uh, Brian's and then coming out of the back straight onto the main straight I fixed my um, I guess letting off the brakes sooner throwing the car into the corner and actually just driving a little harder which brought my time down to about two minutes flat during doing two one two minutes so still about two seconds away from Gabby but it's such a great improvement for me I feel super happy because last week I was only doing 202 so huge um, hoping that this is enough to help carry the team forward I only did about 25 minutes in the car today which is far from tomorrow's uh, actual race tomorrow we're actually doing I think 45 minute stints in the morning and then maybe an hour and a half in the afternoon so it's gonna be a long day tomorrow 
gotta stay hydrated. I brought some electrolytes, some uh, branch chain amino acids. So I'm pretty much ready for tomorrow. And I'm super excited, hoping I get some good sleep tonight so that I can perform as well. Um, but yes, I'm very confident that we could end up in podium. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Windy was doing a 202, so we feel like we're in a good position. The strategy for tomorrow is to get Gab to drive as much as possible. So Gab's gonna do maybe an hour in the beginning, and then we're going to do like 30-30, and then for the afternoon, I'm gonna be doing maybe an hour, and then Gab will do about almost two hours. So we have the best chances with her driving because uh, she's the fastest also in our group. And then Windy just might do like a 30 or 40 minute stint in the afternoon. So hopefully weather is great tomorrow. This afternoon was actually perfect. We had a lot of dry sessions to really practice. And right now we're just doing briefings on uh, driver changes, strategies, and then just uh, going over some details so that we are sure that everyone understands each other. And yeah, we're just staying in the hotel next door. This is Podium Hotel. If you guys need a hotel, check out Podium Hotel over there. It's literally across the street. I'll show you a video of the property tonight. Hopefully there's still some light when we get back. And then the plan tonight is just to have dinner and then get ready for tomorrow's activities. Super exciting. I'm so happy to be back on track in the car and improving time so really happy today and i hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful content that we have and hopefully we have a gold win tomorrow or silver or bronze we'll see anyway i'll update you guys again later Good morning everyone, it is Saturday today and we're getting ready to head to the racetrack. A little restless last night, but feel okay-ish. <laughs> How's your star driver doing? Morning! <laughs> Half asleep. She'll wake up in a bit and she's gonna do our quali, so hopefully we get a good position. Ideally, pole would be nice, but the civics are very fast, so we'll see how that goes. But in the long run, I think our fuel strategy will be better than all the Hondas, so... Our only real competitor would be the other Miatas that are running, which are, I think, five other Miatas. Four NAs and one ND. Ready? What's her team? MSCC Mazda? MSCC Mazda. MSCC Mazda. We're here to conquer. <laughs> <laughs> so we have quali in the next 25 minutes and weather looks beautiful today. It's going to be an overcast cloudy day so it's going to be ideal conditions for racing. and Gabby just went out. It's her first out lap. So we're not expecting to see a good time yet, but hopefully she can lay down a 157 like she did yesterday.
of this are actually super quick. Those are the other NA Miatas from Cebu. This is the exciting part of the day when we get to see who can really set a fast lap time in a short amount of time. Gabby has to work her way through some back markers and we're hoping it's not going to disrupt her performance. Magulo. Yeah! Daming back marker. <laughs> Very exciting, finally. Where is his back? Quali is always... Yeah. Everybody's pushing, man. Yes, Quali is always the most exciting part. This is Booty. Booty is an actual drifter but also a circuit driver and a mechanic and a dancer. <laughs> So apparently we had to send Gabby out again because the other cars were really pushing hard. So I think we still have a good chance to get a podium later on but uh, according to the team one of the other Miatas with Alan driving is 155 and then the Honda Civic was doing a 152 which means yeah, we're, we're maybe mid-grid, but that's fine. Even in the older endurance races, we started mid-grid, but we will creep up to the front. As long as we can keep the pace, you have to remember in the endurance race, there are three drivers, so not all the drivers carry the same pace. And then hopefully, yeah, we can pull this through. This car is a 157.6. And then the other Miata did a 155. Alan is so fast. Alan, where did you pull this out of your ass? I'm so curious. Um, fastest time is 151. Okay. Love it. Yeah, we saw all the back markers. We're six so far. Oh, check our plug now. So we're six on the grid. Fine, yeah. Yes. Long haul. Really, so, I think we should ask Mazda to build us a proper race a car. Proper race car. Yes. Wow. Diba? Yeah, that would be intense. Just to do these events. Yes, for this kind of event. Diba? I yeah. guess even I'll be a co-sponsor na. Galing non. Para we can get a proper race car. A beefed out, ano? A beefed out Miata. MX-5? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. intense. Steven, if you're watching this, <laughs> which you are. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the start of the two-hour Kagitingan Cup. Gabby's out, we're now fourth overall, so we have a great chance. If the other Hondas break down, then it's just up to Alan and us to battle it out. But Alan is running the better tires. Maybe the softer compound might be a problem during the afternoon race because the softer compound will wear out faster. Who knows? This is the racing that we wanted. This is the exciting part, and I'm so pumped. I want to get in the car already. Because 
Alan still out. So as long as Alan's out, because Alan's keeping a high pace, we're gonna try to keep Gabby out. Our, our radio seems to be acting up, so we don't know if Gabby's gonna get the message to stay out first, but hopefully I'll be ready just in case. Just finished my stint, Wendy's now in the car. We're still fourth or fifth overall. Wasn't doing so well in the beginning because it was yellow flag. I had to overtake so many back markers. I have in-car footage. I had to do two drive-in penalties. One because Gab supposedly did something and then I supposedly overtook on a before the green flag. But I was telling them this green flag when I saw the corner. Unless it's green flag at least start and stop finish. So we have to clarify that. I have onboard footage but for now, Wendy's gonna try to complete the race and we didn't even gas anymore because we had the safety car. So we're hoping that the gas left in the Miata is enough to complete the race. Fingers crossed, hope we can get the podium and D2R our endurance. But he said it's a check engine, so it might be something else. Sayang, because Alan was already in third. Third overall, guys. Third overall. This is so cool. Bricks to be one more. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go to the other side. But wala, I had to catch yeah, up. Yeah, it's okay. You, you did a good job. Push, 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 yeah, push. Yeah. All the way. Really? Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the start of the four hour race. Hopefully, we can deliver the same results. And I will get ready roughly at the hour mark because Gabby is supposed to go out for about for one hour 40 minutes and then I will jump in and do maybe an hour and then Windy will carry the rest of the lap so hopefully that's gonna get us a podium again um, a while ago when we finished we literally milked the car we had zero range and when we refueled the car it was 45 liters so that means we were almost out of gas so a while ago Alan ran out of gas so we almost ran out of gas and I really think we need to add a surge tank to the car so that we can get an extra 5 liters. I'm still sleepy. It's so hard to wait and wait, but I think Gabby's did. It's almost over and I'm about to get in the car. They've ready the fuel jugs already and uh, I'm trying to going to try to get a full hour in or maybe an hour 20 and then Windy can do the 40 minutes after so we'll see um, the crew forgot to plug Gabby's radio so we have no communication with her but her instruction was basically to run the car until the reserve light is on and then she'll come in for a driver change and gas stop and then after that, I'm out, so wish me luck, hope I wake up and perform again and no accidents. This morning, there were so many safety cars that were out. We had an accident, Alan got hit by one of the Civics. The 888 Civic had to retire also and there's a few other retirees right now. So if you look at the Race Hero app, we're actually leading um, the class at the moment, but obviously with the pit stop, we're gonna go back down a few places But hoping I can keep my pace up this afternoon and be a consistent 202 to 201 
so this morning I was able to post like uh, two minutes something like basically my fastest time of the practice day as well so hoping I can deliver again second overall up on stage to receive your trophy. Pagbaka naman natin sila. Woohoo! Gabby De La Merced, Indy Imperial, and Angie King. Woohoo! Congratulations! guys end of the day i think i'm gonna end the vlog here there's no sense to continue anymore it's such a long vlog thank you so much the team windy gabby dawn and then the crew that did the corner balance paolo over here who helped with the other mechanics uh the hotel that the uh, podium hotel which housed us for the evening edward for arranging the hotel reservations the organizers for the makabayan cup it was such a fun event i'm so happy to be back and I hope you guys enjoy this content because if you do, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>